Skills Development Scotland is the national skills agency helping businesses and people develop the skills they need to achieve their potential. Nick Thatcher went to see how Skills Development Scotland works with businesses in the energy sector to help them meet their current and future skills demand through apprenticeships and work-based learning. Mo Morgan is a modern apprentice mechanic with the Sparrows Group and as well as learning how to maintain cranes, she has high hopes of becoming the company's first female crane operator. Up you come, up in your line, that's it, up you go, there you go. Today she's practicing how to operate a lattice boom crane, similar to one used in offshore oil and gas installations. Aim for that centre, that's good and her modern apprenticeship is equipping her with the skills and experience she needs. I really enjoy all the skills and things that I've been learning. I actually look forward to coming in every day, see the different things that we're getting to work on, the hands-on experience you're getting. I've been offshore, but hopefully I'll be getting more trips offshore and just building my career. It's the best thing I ever did, it really is. It's... I wish I did it years ago, but I'm here now. Skills Development Scotland is the national skills agency for Scotland which supports people and businesses to develop and apply their skills and it's working closely with the energy sector as it makes the transition to a low carbon future. We're entering into a new energy era and it's really exciting but it presents opportunities and it also presents challenges. The Skills Landscape Report by Apito highlighted those challenges that we face in terms of upskilling and reskilling our existing workforce but it also presented the opportunities for 4,500 new entrants to join the sector by 2025 and Skills Development Scotland is committed to meeting those needs through the apprenticeship family. And the apprenticeship family includes the well-established modern apprenticeships, foundation apprenticeships for young people still at school, and graduate apprenticeships. If you zoom into the vessel you wish to look at. Lewis Beatty is a trainee designer with Worley. Having completed his modern apprenticeship in design and drafting, he's now started a graduate apprenticeship in engineering. We can then rotate from there? Yes. It's a way for people of all ages to acquire higher levels of academic learning, whether at college or university, and industry accreditation. So basically there's a three-way agreement when you sign up to do the graduate apprenticeship. The first is with the university, and that's to deliver the appropriate content. The second is with a work-assigned mentor, and that's just to provide support throughout the graduate apprenticeship. And the third is with the student themselves, and that's to meet all the deadlines and to correspond with the university lecturers. And for me, it really is good to balance work and education and learn as you earn. So this is a truck crane. Truck cranes are actually very similar to offshore pedestal cranes. Back at the training site, Ewan Kerr is the chief technical officer for the Sparrows Group. He started his career with the company as an apprentice design draftsman and takes an active role in mentoring and developing talent within the business. We've got great growth expectations, not only in oil and gas, but we recently uh, entered into the renewable sector where we've been very successful. Um, and to meet the business demands we have now in both oil and gas and renewables, we, we really do need to continue the focus on uh, our people, uh, bringing in fresh talent, bringing in apprentices, graduates, that we can develop into the technicians and engineers of the future. Attracting new talent as well as upskilling and reskilling existing workforces will be crucial for an industry looking to grasp the huge opportunities in energy emerging in a fast-changing world. And Skills Development Scotland remains committed to working with the sector to deliver the best possible outcomes for people, businesses and the economy.